Just start recording. Boom. <laughs> We're recording. <laughs> Here we go. Yo, do you hear that? That's our jam, my guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wow. want to broadcast with you all, all night. night. All, all night. night. <laughs> Dude, big boy. Big boy. He's our... He's our that's our theme song. That's our it? theme song. I wish I would have started from the beginning, but my computer's acting a little funky on uh, s- mm. on Spotify, to be honest with everybody. What's up, everyone? It's Ryan. And your boy, Roscoe. It's your boys. We're back. Did We're we back. Did we record episode one four minutes ago? Yes. yes. Are we lit as fuck? <laughs> yes. No. No. I had water. This is us. This is us, dude. Dude, Straight. Say what uh, you want, but I've been drinking water. Dude, I've been drinking the freaking the the freaking vibes from episode one. That was Mm. I liked it. Real life with Ross and Ryan. (sighs) Real stuff, dude. Oh my god. Jacked about it. Just jacked. How's everyone out there? Mm. Yeah. As good as we we are. You know, we we talked about having we being happy in episode one, oh. but you know what it takes to be happy? You gotta have fun, dude. dude I'm not ready to float out of this room. <laughs> so, My headset's falling dude. off. Dude, I want a mic. I want something to grab. <laughs> you want a mic? I'm gonna start Get grabbing the camera, mic, dude. Dude, we have those. I'm gonna just start dude. talking into this like it's real. Oh, oh, that that, that mic's not plugged in. Dang it, dude. Dang it. I thought I gave you the headset because I I wanted you to be able to be like animated with your. I want to be a DJ now. I know you do, dude. That's future. That's fu- we're gonna have a full dude, DJ. Kit have you ever soon. wanted to be a DJ, but you have no freaking clue? That's me. <laughs> I'm in. That's what you, you want to do. DJs, next. they don't call me MC Ryan for nothing. For nothing, dude. Seriously, dude, look at what happens. We created a name, however it happened, and I'm yeah. going to be MC, uh, D- dude. MC DJ, whatever the. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Whatever it's the MCD same thing. I'm not gonna diss on either because I both I respect both. Yeah. I don't hey, know. we talked about this in the last on Radcast. What? About like finding inspiration. Oh yeah, right? dude, for sure. Okay. I find so much inspiration in music. Yeah. Oh. Take me down dude, that path. Seriously. I don't even care. Like, okay, I have my I have my preferences, obviously, and one wouldn't think, oh, you like. Pop? Well, yeah. Yeah. I think it's because it's so, like, it's people right. talking, just, even if it's not real. Yeah. Any less these days. It's just real. Well, yeah. Of right? course, dude. That's my and jam. It's just, it's just, dude, the, oh, the people, the people in that world yeah, that can just, the lyrics, like, come on. Who can, yeah. I can't even hardly talk. Talk. I know, dude. And the stop. Adjust your mic a little bit. Dude, I'm You're excited going right now. I'm there serious. No. There's not much more I find inspiration in, truly, <laughs> taking yeah. it from what we talked about, than music. Than music. Oh, for sure. It's dude. a whole nother level of inspiration in life. You're down. It don't matter. You play a good song. Uh, you're up. You can find it. Yes. Oh. And there's music for every single thing. Like... There's every mood. It's got its own music, you know. And I think, like, dude, how about like hip hop is like the next rock and roll, dude. It's all infused. That's kind of where I was going. It's so infused, right? right. Like, I don't care, country, um, rock, uh, alternative. I don't even know what it's called anymore. To to me, right? It's really so much in the same, right? Yeah, and the beats and the mixing and just that technology and how that's come it's its so intriguing to me I think you're going to yep. see more of that on this Radcast <laughs> as we dive into something that we both enjoy right. haven't really ever discussed a whole lot Yeah, just kind of joking around but right. talk about like jumping into something that you are interested in but maybe you're scared of D- do it dude I want to be I want to rap yeah uh, dude yeah you've talked about that I don't know why, but, like, I think it's just, like, the way that people, like, lyricists put lyrics together is so freaking it's, cool. I think what it is for me and is the thought of it's, like, soothing. Yeah. Um, like, it soothes the soul that you can communicate to people and your 
all it's your way, your thoughts from down here. Yeah, dude, from the bottom. And it might be crazy. It might be s- just plain stupid, but that doesn't matter. No, no. Dude, where were we going with? I don't this? know, dude. But I just was thinking, like, I remember when in middle school, like, I had to like go to like band or choir, and I wasn't doing either, dude. No way, like. But don't you wish you kind of did? I yeah. mean, kind. I do. I would. <laughs> I wish that I was more interested in learning that kind of that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. But and like, I, I just wasn't. I guess. So but I I'm guess not, I shouldn't regret any of it. I'm not a good singer, and I'm not like a good like I'm not like gonna I, play the guitar. So but like, and that's not what connects with me as much as like. The way that like some of these hip hop guys the lyrics. put stuff together and the lyrics. That's what like, I was getting yeah, that earlier, dude. dude. It's like, what? How do you? How do you come up with that? Yeah, seriously. Yeah, but yeah. for me, like lately, and I never have thought this, but like playing a guitar. Or I was at Costco the other day. I almost bought one just so I could learn how to just play. Just strum and some I'm gonna, chords or whatever. The I'm gonna buy. Or. I'm gonna buy a guitar or. Yeah, I think guitar just to strum some chords. I don't, yeah. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. Yeah, but it'd be fun. fun. It'd be but fun. but mixing like the whole like mixing and then maybe some guitar with it. You know, yeah. Putting your own like sound and instrumental yeah. voice. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, like a Reggie Watts style. Ooh, no, dude, dude that I guy's seen it. dripping. With Reggie talent. in concert in Seattle. <sighs> you did, dude. Yeah, oh, yes. dude. Wow. My cousin and I, Bryce. We. Oh, it's been a few years ago. Um, I don't even understand how someone can be so talented in the art of just randomness. Yeah. And I think that's a person, too, that really inspired me. We talked about Dalia and Vaynerchuk and those dudes, yeah. right? So right, right. Reggie is one of those guys that I haven't followed super closely lately, uh, but he truly inspired me yeah. uh, in a lot of ways. Just, just that whole world of random crazy music lyric mixing I don't know how he does right. it right yeah dude. and i've seen him transform himself into you know a heavier dude to just like he's super fitness man oh now. really yeah it's crazy that's dope that's yeah so it's cool. so cool to see yeah. people transform themselves and once again here we are okay. landing on that topic but it's motivating he and evolved he evolved, evolved. So, at some point or in some way like that was the next step something kicked in yeah. Right, and that's what that's it, what you can't ignore. If there's something within that gut telling you something, don't yeah. ignore it. It'd be interesting to ask a dude like that. You think he's like, if you're like, okay, now that you have like evolved yourself, like your physical health, mm-hmm. do you think that has helped your profession? As like, are you more create? Like, has that helped you in your your music? I mean, I would think so in a way. Dude, I would think it would inspire like, confidence. Yeah, and he's all around better. Mm-hmm. Like a, all around more talented dude dude yeah talking about fitness right so i've always been i've always been pretty just generally fit right Right, right. i've I've just i've been i've always been a smaller dude right i haven't i've had the luxury of like just eat whatever right and then you know you go through some life challenges and then you find some relief and whatnot in fitness and so for me in the last like i don't know seven months i found great like you know, this isn't anything secret, but stress relief and just motivation and in that whole world of just something, it's doing something for you. It's your own time. You're clearing your mind. Yeah. You don't have to worry about anyone else and yeah. those responsibilities. It's you time. Yeah. And that's important. And um, I feel like even, you know, I'm older. I feel, I feel the best I've felt in so many years yeah and that i've you know, i didn't even know that i was kind of getting i didn't realize i was getting to that point where i was just i wasn't very happy and i was just shoving crap in my face yeah and it really took a toll on me like motivationally and personally and just how obviously my health and uh you get through that and you know back to your thing on reggie and, and how that might affect him i i just it's a step you can take without. I mean, you don't even have to invest. It's investing. It's, it's not investing, investing money. in yourself. It's investing dude. in yourself. And why wouldn't you want to do that? It's, so the hardest thing is saying, "I want to do that," and doing it. Doing it. Dude. And and for me, honestly, every morning, because I try to work out at some level every day. Except I'll, I'll take a day off a week or two. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I still have to kind of force myself 
Oh, dude. Talk sure. myself into it. But after you do it, oh, yeah. yeah. And I think, you know, with that, especially in a morning kind of routine, talk about kick your day off right. right. I mean, I, I've woken up a few a few days in a row now just kind of like anxious and a little stressed and tons of stuff on my mind. And then I just, you know, do a bunch of sit-ups and push-ups and, and your yeah, jumping jacks. And then it's time for myself. I clear my head clears out and good things happen. Yeah. So, I dude, I think like that's the same way that time for yourself, and oh, dude, I'm so bad at getting up in the morning. It's just embarrassing. If like Not you, no, yeah, but yeah, you, dude, s- every time I'm around you, which is a lot in the winter, yeah, dude, you're up. Like I'm like, oh man, I gotta get up. He's no, up. Well, yeah. I hear him up. Yeah, I'm up. Oh shit, I gotta get up, dude, my guy. What you don't see is I had Are you 18 crawling? alarms, and I'm like dead. I didn't even hear that. Yeah, so like what you don't see is I never actually fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> dude. So like what? That move. Yeah, dude. It's so tough. But being in I that's what I struggle with. People are like, dude, I wanna let's go work out. I'm like, no, dude, that's me. Yeah, I can I, respect that. I didn't realize you were that way. Just in that, because so much of my life is not very there's a, not a lot of it where I'm by myself I guess hmm. I, don't I didn't know, realize maybe. that like for I me I enjoy working out with someone else whether it be my wife or if it's you or another friend or kids or whatever yeah, I, yeah. it kind of inspires me to like like I'm like oh oh wait oh. that person's doing better I gotta yeah, you know and it kind sure. of it, pu- it pushes you pushes me and yeah. I've felt that in my workout I like I've mm-hmm. gotten stale before because I'm by myself but and, and actually, I can do that me, too. Like I'll do the same routine for a few days. I'm like, why didn't I just do the same damn thing for three days? Yeah, it feels good. And, but am I really benefiting? I gotta change something up here. Yeah. Let me let me rephrase that in the fact that when when I'm with people or not by myself all the time, that is a great place for me to escape. Is by myself. So the escape. It, it's the an escapism escape. thing, and like, because I think about like Dude, when I go what ride a topic. my when I go ride my mountain bike, mm. like I love riding my mountain bike with friends. Like it's the best thing ever. And like on the climbs, we're climbing and chatting and stuff. It's kind of like your social time, right? Because social you're slower time, yeah. and Slow. pushing, and then like motivating each other, mm-hmm. right? And as soon as that trail starts to go down, like I love chasing fast guys or being in a line of fast people, and that's super fun. But like, you know, when you're start then you go to go in your quiet place like you escape for a minute and then you get and then i end up at the bottom and everybody's at the bottom everybody's stoked and, and hooting and hollering and you know it's all good but like i just don't have that switch that off switch of like i'm just gonna cruise here like i'm gonna go i gotta i want to get some stuff done or you know i don't know yeah, so that escape is enough yeah and i think that's a great term and ideology to just like describe kind of what i was talking about earlier with music that, that's it that that is my escape in a lot of ways yeah uh you know plugging away just doing routine computer work which i do a lot of right <clears throat> you'll see me just i'm always listening to something and mm-hmm. for some i think that could be distracting but i think for a lot it's motivating yeah. and i find it motivating because it right. makes me happier and then by once again happier more motivated, more productive in whatever I'm doing. Right, right. Yeah. And I'm not that way with like a sport. Like honestly, um, the music side of things, like I, I, I don't I don't listen to music biking. I don't want to. I don't listen to music if I'm in the mountains doing snow sports, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I use it for the motivation for the more routine mundane kind of stuff. Takes yep. me into that different world. I listen closely to the lyrics. Yeah, same. I find inspiration in the lyrics and what. So, dudes, have you listened? Have you ever actually taken time? And we've talked about this. Listen to music, not just for the beats, which is soothing, right? And we do that. But listen, uh, listen to the true meaning of the lyrics. Yeah. What? Well, what would you say? And I, I already know. But my answer is definitely. What would you say is the number one topic in the lyrics of songs these days? Like the overall theme. <clears throat> Are we talking like? Oh man, it doesn't even matter what oh, what dude. genre. It no, doesn't matter what genre. Overall. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. Relationships. 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 Ding, 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 Did you say ding, relationships? Ding, ding, ding. No, no, no. <laughs> Ships. Ships. My family, we say 
Holy ship. Holy ship, dude. Yeah, uh, man. My guys. Yeah, dude. And here we are. Yeah, Relationships. That, yep. That's the that's right? Yeah. Hundred percent. Dude, it just listen to the lyrics. It's crazy. It's crazy. The number of artists that have been just through the roof. <laughs> but everyone well, has in life. And every and uh, yeah, everybody has. And they just use that as an outlet. And they, mm-hmm. the smart part is, is they know people can relate. That's exactly. why it works, right? And then if you listen to it, then you even get sucked in more. I'm like, gosh, dude, that was me. Yeah. Wait, that song's me too. Yeah. That's happened right now. Oh, yeah. And then yeah. you're like, oh, man, what does that really mean? And what ended up for that artist? And mm-hmm. That's true. And that's that's amazing. And oh, wait. But it then, is going to be okay. And then I think, yeah, he is going to be okay or she is going to be okay. And then we've all had these same kind of problems. How do they have? How do they? How does these? How do these people have these talents to be able to spit that out in such a an amazing way that we all can enjoy listening to? I think I want to do that. Yeah, I would. I would enjoy that. I keep messing with my mic. Sorry. Yeah, that's fine. Really. I wish I had one. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you'll have a mic thing stand. But yeah, re- relationships. Everyone's in one at some point or another, right? Right on. Exactly. <sighs> we all deal with and, that. And dude. Well, so much, and I like I like the hip hop the most, or it's my favorite, because so much of it is like it's about like the rise, and like you hear a lot of that. In the, maybe in the stuff that I listen to, but like because I feel like I spe- is a lot of people are like, oh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a hip hop artist. Mm-hmm. Like people are like, no, dude. But if you're like, no, I'm gonna be a I'm gonna be a classical musician. That's more like, oh yeah, that you could do that, but like, nah, dude, I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be a rapper. I'm gonna be a hip hop oh. artist. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's it's looked at different. So I think a lot of that's why you, I think that's why you hear so much about that in that music is like, because nobody's nobody's telling you you can actually do that mm-hmm. until these guys go do it and stuff. So that's why, like you're talking about Reggie, like that's why I, my guy was Logic early and like. I, it happened, and I'm like kind of pissed it happened because nobody believes me when I'm like, "Yo, I was listening to this guy or so long ago, so long ago." Like, we're talking mixtapes that aren't even you can't even find. Mm-hmm. Well, there's one app it's called Dat Piff. You can find Logic's mixtapes, Young Sinatra, like one through four, and it's just absolute fire, dude. Mm-hmm. He's like 17, just blitzing mm-hmm. songs. It's in, it's incredible. So, yeah, that kind of inspiration and just like coming up from nowhere. And yeah, that's. And then you like you listen, you're like, man, I wonder what's gonna happen to this kid. Yeah. And then all of a sudden he's like, the dude. Yeah. He's like the number one guy. That it's guy. so cool. Yeah. I like to see that. It's fun. That is fun. Yeah, man. Mics are fun too. Mics are fun. <laughs> man, so <laughs> big boy music. Relationships, yeah, so many. Yeah, dude. every song is about a relationship. Yeah. Every every hit is yeah, for that's sure. True. Movies, movies. Oh, yeah. Talk about inspiration. I just, yeah, maybe it's a little embarrassing, but I tend, <laughs> I tend. Yes, go 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 go. Not to be the type of person that just does whatever because everyone else is doing it, right? Okay, yeah, but. On the plane the other day, I just watched A Star Is Born. Dude, yeah, I'll give it a call. I'll give it a shot. I mean, everyone's talked about it. it. Sounds interesting. Bradley Cooper's pretty awesome. You know, American Sniper. I'm like, yeah, definitely. Man, you got my respect with that. And then yeah. Lady Gaga, I've always known is to be a very, very amazing artist. And so, I didn't even know what it was about. I didn't. I love going into movies like that. Not even that's knowing. Just that is like my family, and I. I that's our favorite. Yeah. Oh, we'll cool. like go to movies and we'll just like see like maybe just a quick snippet, right? Yeah. Kind of sidetracking here. And then we just love to just go and just be surprised by it. Right. And that was kind of the way this was for me. I didn't really know. And, you know, it was kind of a, a, a like a story about <clears throat> obviously a, a person that became a star. Right. From, from zero to hero kind of thing, right? Yeah. But <clears throat> just seeing. On that two-hour, 15-minute movie on the plane, which is exactly the time of the flight, got lucky to watch it. I I went from kind of just like blah to I found myself just like smiling and laughing. You know how you're on the plane and 
he didn't even care that people might yeah. have been staring at me like just an amazement uh, of Bradley and Lady Gaga and yeah. I cannot believe like Bradley Cooper can act produce sing yeah dude what how is that even possible yeah and then go play American Sniper and then American Sniper and Lady Gaga and just her just she crushed it in that didn't crushed she crushed it yeah like you weren't an actress were you yeah. Yeah. How'd you how'd you do that? So Once dope. again, talk about this so much in the last hour, but so cool that if if you be, if you believe in it and it's something you want, then go for it. Yeah, go get it, go dude. Get it. Go get it, boy. These people did. I guarantee Bradley wasn't just like yeah, you know, right, right. just well, always a, oh, just born that way. <laughs> Some. Yeah. And, and so certainly there's some of that. There's talent. There's yeah. natural oh, talent oh, within yeah. all of us for certain aspects, and obviously he has that. But it'd be so cool to chat with him. It, he he'll, he'll be our he'll be our next yeah, interview. Probably next third episode. Whatever, dude. No yeah, big deal. Later. We got B Coop on here. LG. We got LG. <laughs> LG. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I guess you know, just talking about that gets me yeah. pretty pumped because I found so much inspiration and motivation. And, and drive and seeing and it wasn't the storyline the storyline was cool and it was it was a relationship right yeah yeah well are. i didn't I, dude i haven't yeah. seen it oh you haven't dude dude i know and oh my, oh my gosh God, dude. but i found so much stinking inspiration it's been a week i i still feel it and i felt it from the actor actress side yeah not not the movie storyline yeah. and all that it's i felt it from them because you knew them in a different way than before they played these characters is that what you're well, i think it's no i just felt like how do i explain this like i felt like through bradley cooper as the actual actor as him and not the character the character he played okay i felt so much inspiration like i could feel how amazing he was yeah okay like, uh, like yeah. attached to me same with her and I felt so much. Re- so this is kind of. Cr- this is. I'm gonna go somewhere with this. Go. I felt it with her too, and like, it was just like hair on the back of your neck, just like amazement and what they were doing, and seeing that it was and feeling more like real. Like yeah. that wasn't. This wasn't like a movie. This was like real. Yeah. And then you think, well, I was there, and I'm sure that was part of all the buzz with it too. And I know it was like was. Is there a relationship happening? All right. And so then I got intrigued and I was, I've been pumped on it ever since. It's, I think, really, and I mean, it's, that's helped me as a person just to kind of be inspired. And I was telling my wife about it. She's yeah. like, yeah, it's good. It's good. It's a good movie. I agree. And, uh, I just it was one of those that amped me up. And then, you know, I'm on my computer all the time on YouTube, right? right? Love music. I use YouTube pretty much primarily and Spotify. But when I'm in front of my computer, YouTube it's music. all YouTube. Yeah. Like, I am insane with researching and just looking. And uh, So, you know, I pop in the Bradley Cooper and... Um, Lady Gaga song "Shallow," I think it's called. That's the one they sang together, uh-huh. uh, duet. And then they did that for like the uh, an awards event, and then one random Vegas act, which she was doing, and then he, she called him up. Whoa! It was it is intense. Damn, dude! Dude, you gotta watch yeah. this. Uh, we should we should bring it up. Yeah. But I I went I went kind of off track there, but I could you can just feel the intensity between those two. After, you know, this is long after the movie and all that and all the hype. Right. And it's just like, whoa. They like cr- crushed it together. Dude, yeah. And yeah. then you could see some serious steam between those two, like, connection-wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That whole connection side of relationships, like, dude, that's a whole nother level, man. Isn't that's, that crazy? Yeah. It is. And so, you know, kind of kind of wandering around this one a little bit, but it all goes back to the motivational side of things and pulling that from certain every aspect in life you can and for me the last week has been music and especially that kind of just seeing two people like excel to this whole other unworldly levels yeah and you know i I find that at times you know with our with our boss right right oh yeah yeah Yeah. it's just are you human you know, yeah, right? And yeah. there's those people around us. Yeah, I think it's cool and important to identify those people, not to use them, no, but to be driven by them, right? And help drive them in ways too, right? Exactly. So, 
Yeah. It, that that for me has been something in life that um, I've really been like a key in on a lot. And, and, and I'm very selective, very, probably too much. And I've been really cognizant of that, but very selective in who I hang out with and talk to. Yeah. Oh, dude, it's, that's what my dad always used to tell me. He's like, you know, that's the saying. He says, show me your f- friends and I'll show you your future. Mm-hmm. And I think. I've never actually heard that. Yeah. You would tell me that when I was li- young. And I, that stuck with me. Is, and, you know, that's why I'm also selective in that way. Because I want people to be around me who are going to help me for, you know, I, I want to give them value and I want them to appreciate that. And I want to receive value from them in a way. And, you know, it's, it's much more than just like a, from a career standpoint too. And like, that's what I've recently found with quite a sure. few, quite a few friends is like, they just get me on like the ridiculous, fun, high energy, go do stuff. Like, yeah level and that makes me want to be better all across the board dude that is you just nailed it because they don't and like especially it's great when they you know i know they don't care if what i do for work how much money i make any of that stuff yeah the whole comparison thing right they don't care yeah like they just like doing what we do like we want to go ride bikes and do this or go have beers or any of that like we just connect on a level and like that just helps you Mm -hmm. elevate yeah elevate Motivate, elevate, yeah. inspire each other. The whole one-way friendship not, not working even. as it for me for years, but I've been in those situations way too often, and it's really a terrible feeling. Just think about that, my guys. When you're when you're just living life and you've got these friends, think about think about if they really are your friends. Yeah. Do they be there for you? Yeah. Do they do they call you? Do they contact you? Right. Or is it only you contacting them? Yeah. Think about that. And, and in certain situations in life, you know, that might be okay during certain circumstances. But if the overwhelming majority is you to that person over and over with little to no reciprocation, my guy is yep. not Tough. a friend. No. We would call that an acquaintance. Yeah. <laughs> we would call that an acquaintance by definition yeah. almost. So let me read. So, you know, it's Monday here at this point. Yeah, it is Monday. Monday at the undisclosed at location. The undisclosed dungeon of the dungeon. dankness. I'm really big into quotes, and so uh, I want to just kind of tap into one that. Um, well, a couple actually. Dude, quotes are funny. Dude, I oh man. So for me, we talked. We've talked about a lot here. Yeah. Relationships, inspiration from music, friends, all that stuff, right? I I find like a freeing feeling and like. I believe the universe drops these things in your inbox, not even like really joking. Right, yeah. Uh, quotes yeah. that help push you along in life. Yeah. And I think that's a big thing for all of you to kind of just pick up on. Um, and I've got a lot of good feedback from like social media of just some fun, like sometimes they're pretty serious quotes, but people actually have been starting to look for that. Right. Like, oh, we haven't seen that. This is the best one I've seen in a while. Yeah. And I think, Oh man, maybe I should keep going because it makes me feel good. And if I made someone else feel good, that's awesome. So um, one of the big ones in, in tying into what we were just talking about it on that whole uh, side of, see if I can find it here. A little bit of silence. Is okay. Of motivation? Is yeah. It? No, not motivation, but like the whole one way um, friendship. friendship. Yep. Yeah. And just like, Reciprocating versus not reciprocating. I'm flipping through my phone here. I've got well, it. Um, you, dude, go, go this ahead, Ross. I'm the, gonna look up this. Oh, this is on. the funny thing about quotes is while you're looking for that, people are like, "Cause I, oh, dude, I straight up get off on a good quote. I oh, love a good sure, quote." And, guy. um, but then people will be like, they'll poke fun. You, you know, it's like you poke fun at it in a weird way. I don't know why people do it because Oh, that's a whole other conversation. Yeah. Um it probably insecure it's an insecurity, insecurity thing, yeah. you know, but the, um, you know, it's like uh they're they're jealous that you have some sort of like you know, you're happy. Yeah, but I'm like, dude, don't lie to me. You straight up do that too. Like you you have quotes or sayings or things that like get you you know get you going or help you through or whatever it might be and like mm-hmm. but i think it takes a level of friendship 
to actually like share those sometimes people struggle with that that's what i've seen anyways yeah you're right i've had friends that are very like fun you know the the friendship is very surface level crazy fun Mm -hmm. stuff and then all of a sudden then it gets deep and then you're like oh dude you're my guy. Yeah. Like then it, then you're, you know, it changes the whole thing, and that's a cool place to be. My guy, right. you nailed it with the my guy. My guy is the <laughs> truth. All right, so one of the quotes, uh, and I've felt dude, like, who is that? I don't know, some random dude. dude. He looks like a badass. he's a badass, a gangster. Uh, you've probably seen this quote, but no response is a response, and it's a powerful one. Remember that, right? Dude, for sure. Dude, I. I mean, that speaks really loudly to me. I, I get that a lot in life, and I, I'm super sensitive to it. And I think it's the universe telling me, beware. And then, so another one, we've talked about this a lot in the last couple episodes here, but it's this, this quote summarizes a lot of what we talked about pretty well. The one who follows the crowd will get no further than the crowd. The one who walks alone will find himself in places no one has ever been. I think that's an Albert Einstein quote, honestly, but... It feels uh, good. It feels good. It feels right. It's about evolving s- yeah. so different. S- being be different. Be you, be different. Well, in like the end of that quote, when, um, what is the bo- what's the second half? Let's take a peek. Of that. <clears throat> because like the first part is is 100% yes, dude. And like, but, and people find, um, people find comfort in that. Second part is the one who walks alone will find himself in places no one has ever been. And yes. Yes. <laughs> and what here's what scares people about that. When nobody's been there, you don't know what to do. So then you got to like lock it down and yeah. figure it out and do all that stuff. And that takes. Create it. Yeah. But, oh, dude, this is what I heard the other day. Vaynerchuk just dropped this like pretty short video that's pretty mm-hmm. crazy. He's like. Because people get so when we live in a world of with so much opportunity, right? That's yeah. If you, exactly. You just, if, if you're listening to listening to this podcast on your iPhone or whatever, dude, like cruising in your boat, so, so me, much, me, 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 yeah, me, me, so much opportunity that we're like bent out of shape about it, and we don't even realize it in ways like we can't make decisions and do these things. And like the thing is, is this is what he was talking about in the video: is you make the decision and you do it, and you sleep in that bed, and that's the end of it. Because you don't know, you'll never know the other outcome, ever, mm-hmm. right? Like, we don't know what would happen. If I got on a plane and went to China right now, I, who knows what would happen? I don't know. I, maybe I would freaking, like, make it four weeks and then, like, be abducted and something crazy would happen. Or my, I would, or like... Or Ken Block would pick you up in the Huna yeah. truck. And you do burn out. Suck his dad. Ken, he would pick me up in the Huna <laughs> and truck. And you'd be a panda. Yeah, and then I'd have millions and billions of dollars bags all right so what would happen in my mind and this is a simple perspective but i believe it's true exactly what was supposed to happen boom dude you know what i mean right talk about open can of worms in a good way yeah dude i love opening cans of worms dude the rabbit hole the rabbit hole <sighs> yeah the universe drops bombs and it's a ch- so there's a cool, so many quotes on this, but uh, the universe, the the world gives you challenges, and it will give you the same challenge over and over and over until you get it right. I firmly yeah. believe in that. I've experienced it. Yeah. And I'm experiencing it now, and it's one of my beliefs. And it, I don't know how things are going to shake out in certain aspects of my life, and um, but I know that. The universe does this for a reason. Yeah. Oh, dude. And you can choose to accept it, or you can choose to keep living over and over. Yeah. Yep. And. Oh, the Matrix. Me one. The Matrix. And then in that Matrix, you find yourself. And dude, when when you go through when something happens, you go through something. Yep. That's shitty, or bad. Boom, I know where you're going. And you look at, and then you're like, oh, dude, that was so horrible. Dude, I, nothing was horrible because I learned something every time. And the next time I go into a similar situation or I go into a challenge, I've got those tools in my tool belt, right? You, you learn nothing from winning. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Fail, fail, fail until you succeed. Yeah. Yeah. So, So, uh, you know, that, and once again, it, it, it happened for the reason, for a reason. And it seemed like, 
insurmountable and you would never like how could i ever feel good but you look back and go huh. yeah silliness yeah i have so <laughs> many examples of so that. goofy like when dude. i so goofy so silly like a silly goose time my guy would oh, say dude like that boy, <laughs> that dude would say <laughs> that dude that i admire oh so much anyways like a, a personal example is i had an amazing great job and like this was it's been like eight years eight now. years now. um but I just wasn't fulfilled and happy, and I was I, I, I was not in a good place, and there might be some depression involved, and just got myself in, in a bad funk, and, you know, I found a new opportunity, and it came to life, and it, 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 it came to fruition, but then that, at that point, when it became real, I almost stepped out. Oh, dude, yeah. Like, long conversations and long, stressful thoughts about... Uh, you know, secu- like, oh, this is safe. But but if yeah. I didn't, I don't even really know where I would have ended up in life. Yeah. And I've had those talks, like, I've, I've worked with some, uh, I have a very good counselor that kind of just helps in all aspects of life. And it's not just, like, a counselor that's, like, you know, a shrink. It's a person that just is very worldly. And this person has told me so many times in several situations in my life, like, well, that all happened for a reason. And... And if you didn't do those, if you didn't focus on yourself and and doing what felt right and and just being aware and self-aware, bad things would have happened. Yeah, something to, it's just something to consider and, in everyone's lives. Right. And being being self-aware. Self-aware. That's mental mental instabilities and just depression and all that is such a scary thing and it's so real it's yeah, dude, way yeah. too real in our world and it's it's really compounded by so much of what we talked about right the fear factor the fear and comparing factor and, and yeah. just being a, a sh- being sheep yeah. um, and being afraid and it's unfortunately society kind of doing that to us but that's, and, yeah, it's and, got a little bit of a dark conversation. Yeah, it's that, can, real. that one can get dark. It can get that real dark. But, uh, dude, and, oh, man, with that, like, you know, that instability thing, like, having empathy for everybody, oh, yeah. like, Good dude, word, my guy. dude, okay, you don't know anyone except you at all, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, you, I mean, you can, like, grow up with your brother for 20 years of your life and you're still going to only know him to an extent right like you're only like you can know you just don't know anybody 100 percent fully ever period so having empathy to fill that void of not knowing and just being like i don't know dude like yeah dude i understand so when where i'm going with this is when if you want to do something different with your life or something you know back to the whole deal mm-hmm understanding like if i get a mean comment i'm like dude learn from it that dude took time out of his day to say something mean about me dude that's a good what does he have going on that's a good that's a good topic man because i probably say about like less than a year ago that's why that negative comments and me being in not such a good strong mental place i would have it would have taken me down yeah now I, to your point, I have I look at I look at some negative comments because they come in. They do, dude. Um, and they're ridiculous when and, they come and, in. And so, the best thing to do is step back. Okay, you don't do res- don't respond right away. Don't hot head it. Don't hot head it. Yeah. Think about it. Think about maybe their perspective. And that's not something I've ever been able to do in life. And I feel like. I'm way late to that game. I feel like that's something that more people should be aware of. Think, be so. My wife, my wife was one of the biggest pushers of this and like awakening me to the uh, being reasonable. <laughs> be reasonable. Uh, mm, yeah. It can go a long ways. Yeah. Relationships, work, personal side. So be reasonable. Think about it from their perspective and what challenges they might be going through. And and sure, some of it might be mean, but some of it could open your eyes to like thinking about it in in new ways and helping you communicate whether it's like you're selling your product or yourself or whatever it is, so that so that people connect with you better and it's a better feeling all around. Yeah. Because and some of it's just playing dicks yeah 
people are just yeah. that way. And, and yeah. okay, well, I, I appreciate that you took the time. Yeah. And it's funny, dude, when we, if we're talking like really anything, like you drop a mean comment, I'm like, thanks, dude. You want to know why? Because social media loves comments. And when you drop a mean one to me, it makes my post go to more people. <laughs> so thank you for helping me in the algorithm. Regardless yeah. if, you, if you said F you, you're a loser, you're ugly. I don't, dude, I don't care because you're healthy. Yeah. And when you say something nice, I love it even more. Positive. Because then I know I'm doing the right thing. Pull the positive Pull. from everything you can. Yeah. Be reasonable. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's a good way to kind of. Reminds me, dude. I got a lot of DMs I got to get back to. Dude, I hate it. When you get behind, I get behind on DMs, direct messages, and then like, then I get a really good one, and I'm like, dude, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm three weeks behind, and I, I straight up am sorry because I don't want to leave you hanging, and I did. Yeah, but I have an obsession with quick responses. <clears throat> I guess that's dude, a good you thing. crush it. I can't not. It's like one of those things where it yeah, eats me alive. Yeah, that's super good because I do it to friends. And I, I don't noticed, mean to. I yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Wait. What? What? Mm. This feels personal. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It happens. Mm. And I'm when I do it. And then I'm like, oh, dude, sorry. So, dude, wow. Fun. Fun time on the Good right stuff, man. On the Radcast episode Radcast. two. Radcast. Well, you got a snippet of our musical abilities. <laughs> in the Wait beginning till the next you can kick it with me all night all night oh my god we're good <laughs> that's the thing dude you can't tell me I'm not good cause I won't believe you <laughs> well I already know I'm not good so yeah. if you say you're not good I'm like nah dude I'm good uh, the goodest guys you've ever met the goodest dudes of all time mm-hmm. it's Ryan <sighs> it's Roscoe <laughs> <laughs> Signing out, my All guys. Righty. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Thank Episode you. two. Uh, drop a drop drop a review on iTunes, um, dude. Share us on your stories. That's that's dude. That matters. That helps so much. Take a little Instagram story. Of if you just screenshot like craziness and just stupid silly. Yeah. Sign me up, dude. Yeah, dude. We're just we. I think. We're starting to, I feel like we're, we're opening up. We're starting to find kind of a little bit of a pace with this. Mm-hmm. And that's tricky at first, but like, let's get real. And then, like, at, but at the same time, that's hilarious. And that's, you know, watch for some, you know, well, we, we don't, a- I think the biggest thing is you don't, don't take yourself so damn seriously. Yeah. Like, everybody's over here all, and then, like, dude, come on. It's funny. Let's never, get funny. None of us get out alive. Mm, that's very true. Uh, okay. All right. All right. Anyways, enough of that. Until next time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Later. Later.